Microphone check. One, two, skip the board. Since you already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is underway. <laughs> Episode 44. That's a great number. The number four is a great number. And it's October the 25th is a great number. So <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and, and so put that numbers. myself. You know what what just happened? What's the special on the 25th? That's the that's the day I crossed into yes. Omega. Si- we don't even no, know. no, no. I didn't know that. I, right. My bad. Con- con- happy Q-versary, babe. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Episode Happy 44, Rama. October 25th. Great numbers. Yeah. Um, yeah. You already know, man. The Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. Uh, Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Killer Bait is here, bro. Alexander DeBlanc is here. The, the, whole, the whole gang is here. Joseph D. Friend is here. Pink Celebrity is here. Wyman um, J Productions is here. Yes, Gio De Leo is here. Christopher Cheatham is in the building. And special audience guest, guest appearance, uh, Paris. Paris Russell is no, in the building. No, Paris Tokyo. Tokyo. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. My bad. Hey, Oh, my sister's here, y'all. Yeah. No, I mean, I just feel like uh, that's just me as a personal thing. I, I I love the full name thing. Like, I gotta get my name changed because I just love the full name thing. It's, hmm. what, it's just business. Like Jay Hill? Yeah, like that. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I just feel like you you would change it to. It's to another Mister J Hill with your name running around with it as an Instagram, not as an Instagram handle. One time when I was trying to search up your Twitter, it was this white guy who also has Mister J Hill, but his huh. is just no underscore. We ain't gonna just fast forward past that. Like I was what? trying to search up your Twitter, like. Oh, yeah. this is like. Why you used to ask me? This is beginning stages, though, because I didn't want you to know I was checking for you. I didn't even want you to know I, I was like, question. I didn't even have Twitter at that time. So I'm like, I'm going to find this nigga. What the fuck he be talking about? Random question. And could you just. It was this Twitter. white guy. My bad. Go ahead. Do you. Because somebody asked me this. Do you K search people? Like, in the beginning? Like, yeah. Did you K search me? Yeah. Jay had mad. <laughs> Jay had mad. <laughs> what? Yo had like, endless. I didn't know that was a thing. So Yo had, had endless. Like, wow. Danger to society. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, yo, it's crazy. Well, it's a whole psycho. I'm a whole psycho. So how was y'all week? Y'all, um, how was the week for everybody? How was your week, Jay? No, you never start. Look, how oh, was your never was start. Cute, you know, man, my my week was uh, it was cool, man. Um, damn. Uh, I had a couple interviews. Okay. Um, so Shout work. I'll be working like Monday through Monday. Mm-hmm. If it was another day, I'd probably work on that day. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Who the fuck thought of the days? God probably. Seven days. No, but like um, Monday, Tuesday. Because if you wanted to add another day, what would it be? This is a very woke start to the podcast. We just. <laughs> Four day. Four day. Shot right. day. So th- Monday that's Monday. <laughs> I mean, not actually, no, nah, that's actually not forceful. That's, that's a great actually day. tough. It'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Let's Saturday, Sunday, Shaw Day. Hey, flows nice. It does. It's pretty good. So how was your week? And then I can tell you how my week was. What? You was going first. What type of, you see the deflection? <laughs> I, no, I'm not trying Gem- to deflect. Did I just, just call Kanye the Gemini a narcissist? I did that on purpose because I didn't want to deflect. I, I did that so I didn't deflect anybody. Respect. Anyway, so my week was interesting. Very. Very, to say the least. How was my week? What do I say? So we've been, you know, we've been dog sitting. So I'll start there. You know, the cutest dog, if he shits on the floor one more time, return to sender. And, but other than that, you can't even be mad at him because he's like the cutest little thing. He's like Mm. such a baby. So that's been like the highlight of the week is that I got to like bond with a dog and I never thought that I would do that because... After Cashew, my sister's dog, I've been traumatized. <laughs> Cashew. So, <laughs> right, that's her dog. <laughs> so, you know, other than that though, it was that that was cool. Um, you know, the weird the week started off weird. You know, I had my, my shorty ex wilding on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's up with Shorty. So yelling outside the club, saying strange things. I don't know. It just be a lot going on. It'd be ghetto, like, and I just be off it. But Nonetheless, it was interesting. You said you wanted to finish me to say my day so you could finish your day. Yeah, my week. Uh, my week was interesting because of the interesting thing that happened <laughs> on Sunday. So, um, but uh, I still, but I still cooked you dinner. I seen something the other day was like, now you know when she get mad, she don't cook. <laughs> or something. Somebody was saying that when they girl get mad, they don't cook. I was still cooking. You know what I'm saying? I made my sweet potato pie this week. That I tried a new recipe. Yeah, that was interesting too. Would you so would you would you put that was different? What was new about it? You're gonna have to buy it on my cookbook. 
Okay, let's get some money then. Like, I've been saying, I, was say respect, I mean, I've been saying it. cook. I've been saying start selling, start selling stuff like selling food. Like she's like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's just too time consuming to cook for mad people. But nah, so because of that, my week was interesting as well because I had to kind of like deal with that situation that I put myself in. <clears throat> I was prepared for like a different conversation, but that's for another day. Yeah. I was ready though. Just you know, I was ready. You but go? no, I don't have to. I don't have to. I mean, uh-huh. it would definitely be entertaining as fuck. All right, but, well, go ahead. You might as well say it. No, not today. All right, no, we'll save it. To. But um, I was so the week was interesting for me because it was interesting for my girlfriend, and it was more interesting for me because I made the mistake to for us to be in a situation if that makes sense, right? So I kind of had to like, you know, how, like something happened, especially for me when it's somebody else is like, I can't control other people's emotions and what they do, but. I was kind of like the catalyst to that situation. So it was like, I had to like sit back and kind of go with the punches because I put that, if it wasn't for me, then that wouldn't have been happening. So it was like, ah, shit. You, you know, know that makes sense? No, that makes a lot of sense. It's that accountability. Yeah, I love that. I was going to say, thank you for your accountability. That's so cute. The least I can do. The least. The least I can do. I don't need snaps. It's fine. I, don't I like it. snaps. <laughs> you know, but I just like, like you know, just through the whole situation, what I will say is just like, I just, through the week is what stuck with me was a lot of growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to take a lot of growth. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, even just reaction based and just like little things. It's just like, you know, when you could really be another person, but you transition from an old person and you have to stick with being, stick to the commitment of being who you are now. Like, you can't really reverse. <laughs> and you know what I mean? And um, what I will say is, you know, you know, when we do talk about that, it's a lot to be to stick with being the new you because you're so used to being the old you that you, you, the new you is really new to you. Like, mm. you know, not to say like that. And your real patterns are the old patterns that you have, but you're trying so hard to like stare away, stare away. But things happen like, you know what I mean? So, you know, just shout out to growth. Okay, shout out to you, babe. Shout out it's to the growth that I thing. see. Shout out to yeah. you through the week. Um. It's like when you talk about growth, right? Is you um, it's growing on both sides of the spectrum, right? Because on um, it's and in, in, in through both people. Because when you recognize the growth, you might not be ready for it. A lot of times mm-hmm. we ask for things that we're not ready for, mm-hmm. right? So it's like you gotta deal with something new almost. Yeah. Because in any other situation, it would be one, it would be one reaction, and it's like you're so accustomed yeah. to that reaction that it's like. You're, right. you're waiting for that reaction yeah. but then when there's a different reaction it's like because you're not used to that reaction it's like now you're uncomfortable with that because you've never seen it in right. Any sense, right? So you, right you start to go in your mind automatically that because yeah. you just expect it you start in your actions yeah. kind of moving in that direction or right. no so what i mean is like so for example me and Shade, right so we've had conversations about like Sade is like just this crazy girlfriend and all this and all that. When so we had conversations I mean, with it. I mean, everybody know you crazy, but who's everybody? This, I mean, we do a podcast. I mean, we y'all think com- I'm crazy? I mean, if we could like, if we could like move the camera like up and down, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the camera will move itself. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's like, babe. But no, what I will say That's is interesting. But the reaction think was like crazy too. And I, I, I can acknowledge why that I would crazy? see that. Not that I'm crazy, but I can acknowledge why they would say that. So you're not crazy? I'm not. I'm very sane. I, I have a logic to my method. So I don't have no say or no logic. To no, my you method. are sane and it's you have orga- a logic to your organized. method. But I'm talking about the people why they would see it. You know what I'm saying? At least I'm acknowledging. Yeah, I can see why they would say I'm crazy. I'm not about to be like y'all think I'm crazy. I'm pretty sure it's niggas that think I'm crazy. Probably a lot of people think I'm crazy. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. I'm so used to like the firecracker, right? So when you don't get it, you got to deal with. I don't know what the opposite of a firecracker would be, right? I have to, you got to deal with that, right? Okay. So it's like you don't like the firecracker, but any emotion in it, you're not going to like if that makes sense. Because yeah. if you put yourself in a, a predicament to fuck up, right? I mean, just being real. And it's like you got to deal with Anything whatever. That you, comes with at, the end of, at the end of the day, you got to deal with whatever you, you put in the universe, period. You know what I'm saying? So it's like either way, it would have been a problem. or in, Either way, it would have been interesting. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, but I definitely recognize the growth and I definitely want to say shout out to you. And um, yeah, I mean, that's all I can say is shout out to you. Um, Alex had an interesting week. I'm going to let him talk What's for himself. What's up with your week, bro? My week was cool. It was chill. Oh, no, wow. just, we're just not going to do that. No, I, I was in a wedding that. yesterday. It was I was a groomsman. My man, it was a beautiful, yeah. it was the most interesting. So what is Jay talking about? We keeping secrets? No. Nah. No secrets. Y'all are always pep talking on the side. What's going on? Ain't got no pep talk. I'm the only really girl here right just now. Real friends. No, there's nothing. So we, uh, so we not real friends? Yeah, we man, y'all cool. You business. We I had a good 
I mean, you took Mo- Monique from me. I mean, shit. I, y'all have conversations that I don't know about and that we ain't talk about. So come on, just, you, know? you know. Monique, what's up with them, yo? Yeah. I'm just growing and maturing. Just like you know, we talking about growth. Just growing and maturing. So I'm with this fucking a- cap on this. Ain't podcast. no cap. I'm serious. There's I just no growth. My mouth. So, what, so why your mouth open? <laughs> Nothing. He said the cat. I was just still talking about his Fuck cat. y'all. Let's get to this. Some of his friends. We ain't friends. Ain't nobody on this set friends. <laughs> no, not that. So I'm not talking been, about that. No, y'all Alex. friends. I'm talking that. about. Y'all ops. Come on. Is that, is that still your ops? friend? Ops? Is that still your friend? Who? Huh? Your friend? Is that like your friend? Yeah, my friend, my friend. What the fuck? Okay. Your All right, Scorpio cool. friend? Yeah. Y'all still friends? Yeah. Y'all close? Oh, so y'all friend friends? We're closer. We, we know we grow. We. we, we Okay, that's just, nice. That's all I was interested Jay in. Jay said you was laid up last night because that's why you ain't pull up yesterday to come. Uh, See, I ain't say it. <laughs> See, that's why you can't pillow talk with nobody because like, <laughs> even with the closest people, they're going to out you. Wow. Like, God damn, that's crazy. Why out? You just out of me because he, he, <laughs> he might still be wanting to be available. You know what I'm saying? You never know. He wow. used to keep telling everybody he got a friend friend. He but ain't I'm, available. He got a friend friend. What the fuck is friend? You know when black people emphasize the second time, you know what it means. <laughs> like, if, it went, if, it, if, it, if it was just a friend, it'd be like, no, it's Jay, friend. But now you, a black person says happen. friend friend. It, uh, I know what you're talking about now. Okay, ain't nothing happening this week. So we ain't gonna we ain't gonna press the issue. I mean, I ain't the FBI. You the FBI? I mean, you might be the FBI. Definitely the Female FBI. Detective. No, you the FBI. Female detective agency. Let's That's get what it, it is. Mm. I'm a H. What we used to say when we was younger, HBIC. I'm the head bitch in charge. My mom used to say that, I think. I, <laughs> I'm the only head bitch in charge in this motherfucker. So you think all these little bitches, whoa, like she's 13. Like, we, like why are you calling her a bitch? Like, like mom, little, she's 15 years old. Little girls definitely old. little bitches sometimes. <laughs> like, these let's little get, bitches. That's, all right, let's get into the show. Like, everybody <laughs> week was cool, and it was all right, and all that political bullshit. I should ask, speaking of politics, no, no more. Because I was going to ask, how was it? No more. Um, we're going to keep that on. Top secret. It's ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Y'all could just I'm like, what is going on in this? <laughs> That's top secret. Um, let's get into the show, man. Uh boom. First topic we got today is competition amongst friends. Mm. Y'all they swear. I mean, we can talk about relationships too, right? Because just talk about, yeah. Shall they be up. like they be I'm jealous on, on her, of you her. Be hating like, on me. I don't have no reason to hate on you. Yeah, niggas, niggas definitely be hating on their females. All right, so in, in the relationships, we feel like it'd be hatred in, in relationships. Why do you feel like that? Honestly? Like in friendships or relationships? Relationships. Okay, so not so when I say I be playing, like when they come to Jay, what? Nothing. What, what, mm. what you sucking teeth with? I ain't mean to do that. You might be never meaning to do nothing, but you be doing it. Oh, wow. That, that was a good wild. one. Anyway, that was, that so was a good one. That was good. You got that. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> so what's, anyway, what's the date? So, date? <laughs> give me a look, give me a look. I, I give it to you. <laughs> that was a good comeback. They, niggas listen to this like, ooh, <laughs> Sade, Sade, she is spicy. Anyway, but yeah, um, let's talk about um before we get to friendships. Let's talk about in relationships. Relationships. Okay. So like, not even just in my relationship per se, but I do hear. Or see that being a common topic amongst women. Um, I don't really see men talking about it. I'll give y'all that. However, I have seen the conversation amongst women where they feel like they're significant other and quote unquote, like be hating on them or jealous of them to a certain degree. Um, And I don't know all these relationships and their backgrounds. So I can't say if it's career based or if it's like, you know, just uh, circumstance based or if it's opportunity based. I really can't say. But however, I know those are three categories that it can be in. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you have a significant other, especially from men, sometimes I think like, you know, when a man feels inadequate, like say, I don't know, their job situation or they feel like they're not making enough money or like stuff like that. You know, there are some men like will envy their woman and say like if they make more money than them, like, you know what I'm saying? Some men don't mind it, but some men be like, you know, and carrying it out in different ways. Like, or it don't even have to be the money. It could just be like accolades. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, you know, you have a woman who has her master's and she succeeded in all these things and her job is booming or whatever. And then there are men that are jealous of that. You know what I'm saying? And what I've seen when I'm looking at these situations is, you know, they treat them different. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but they, they, they love them, but they are upset in these areas. Anytime. Some may know and acknowledge it. Some may not understand what they're really mad at like or like understand so you know just in terms of competition like competition and relationships 
Like, what's so that like? That's kind of bullshit. Because um, you definitely told me that you felt like I was jealous of you a couple times. So in those situations, even if you, it was more emotionally driven. Right. It was some truth in that. And okay. I'm trying to figure out why. So I think okay. the times that you may be talking about, um, you know, like we all go through different challenges in life. And I think at that point you may have made several comments on like me working from home or me having a luxury or whatever and him not having that luxury. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't explain what you're really saying, it could come off like, what the fuck you mad? Because I get to work from home for it. Mm. That ain't my fault. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which can come off like as a little shade. Like why you keep throwing out like, you work from home or you work a nine to five, you don't get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which I will say is if I said it, it probably was around those terms. Cause that's the only area I will really say it in of, and we spoke about this before, like Jay always saying things because he's an entrepreneur and he gets his money this way. And it almost seemed like he might have been shunning me having a regular job or, you know, <clears throat> working from home and not working as hard as him in that way. So, which can come off sometimes like, why are you hating on me for like, yeah, no, I don't have to work that hard for my money. You know what I'm saying? But, Maybe in those terms, maybe you might be saying that in that way. Okay, that's fair. So let me ask you this though: <clears throat> if if it's true, right, or like we where where do we draw the line of just being real, or like where do we draw the line of like it's not hating, but that's the reality of it. Like, let's say you might be complaining around the house, and I'm like, yo, bro, you work from home, relax. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't that serious. Or and maybe I know for a fa- for a fact. Before we get into that, we gonna have to get into the conversation of men men being more um conscious of their woman's feelings and listening and i, I respect that so i'm just, so outside of that conversation when can it be a conversation of yo like it's really just me trying to like bring you back to reality like yeah it might be go- it might be going hard but it could be worse you know right. what i'm saying look you work from home like at least you don't got to do this and it's not jealousy it's not hate it's just like look let's look at let's look at it differently it's not like yo i'm hating or even to the point like if i'm if i'm doing something if i do have to work all day and like you're like you might be complaining about something. Well, not even, I don't want to say complaining because that's a negative connotation. You might, you might not think one of the days is fair for you, right? Because I've been working all day or I've been working all week and you feel like by Sunday I should be able to, I should be able to chill and you, us have some family time and I'm about to be like, yo, you're not, you're not going to get it because you don't live this entrepreneur life. I don't think that's hating. It's just really the reality of things and it's like me trying to, me saying, me having the wrong wording sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's hating. It's just, I could definitely choose a different word. You know what I'm saying? And I could be like, yo, like it might be, you know what, maybe I can be more sensitive. Like, you know what, yeah, I understand why we would have a day on Sunday, but it's just, I just can't do that right now. Instead of saying you wouldn't understand. So I was going to ask to add on to that, because it sounds like you're kind of just comparing something. So yeah. is it like, do you feel like comparing, if you're comparing any type of situations, that is a form of hating? Or is that just stating a fact or trying to make a statement? Comparison I, I, is a okay. thief of all joy. Yeah, so comparison is a thief of joy. So I feel like, we shouldn't be comparing anyway. And that's why I was able to recognize and say, you know what? Maybe that's something that I shouldn't do. But at the same time, I don't think that it should be looked at as being hateful. It ain't, I'm not hating. I'm just I'm just comparing when I shouldn't be comparing. Well, I also feel like it's just all in the intentions of the words. Like, it's also like you can say like, say it's like, you know, you feel like I'm complaining and it's like, you don't understand you. You know what I'm saying? If you say you don't understand, I've been working all day. Like you only work till three. It's like what does that matter? Like, you don't know how hard I had to work till that three. You don't have, you don't know what I did after that. You don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just all in the intention of how you say it. Like, or it could be like, babe, like, you know what? I'm tired. Like at the end of the day, I did work all day and I have a right to feel how I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? I also feel like some things, I just feel like some things just don't need to be said too. And that's Mm -hmm. where you just got to come through with picking your battles because it's like, okay, you have no idea why I'm really frustrated. Just like I have no idea you're frustrated. So if you come and say like, I've been working all day, like you working nine to five, it's almost like those are unnecessary words. Like, to be honest, like we both been working all day and you can't judge what I was doing when you was at work because you have no idea. So at that point, I feel like just some things you just don't need to say. So, which is why, even if you want to, even to be realistic in that situation, it doesn't even matter because both sides are at anguish there so it's kind of like who cares like yeah, what, you feel we away were, we were, we were, we were, i gotta pull up the dictionary what does that mean anguish you said what like just what was the word you said anguish what is what did i mean um to give you a complete definition i'll pull it up right, <laughs> how, how you spell it anguish a-n-g-u-i-s-h a and how did you even find out about this word like a and i mean i, I, really know, I didn't no, i don't know anguish yeah i've never heard of that you heard of that? What's the definition? What's I've the definition? I've heard the word before. Wow, yes. I never severe mental or physical pain or suffering. Right, we're both at anguish. So you're going through what you're going through. I'm going through what I'm going through. 
I never heard. Word, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna the be word the first of the day one, you know was saying? sponsored like, by. I, you know, so. I'm just saying. I never. I did, I, I did. A N G U S A N A. Use this in like, sentences. I just never like, heard it. I never heard it. But yeah. All that to say is we're both in anguish at that point. Like you know, what I'm saying you feel like you're tired. I'm complaining about what I'm complaining. What is the necessity to so turn, throw I'm in saying, the extra words? I'm saying it because like yeah, if, if I'm a smart bitch. If I'm, if I'm, <laughs> if, if, if I'm coming That's home, that. if I'm coming home, if you get off of work at four o'clock. I come home at five o'clock and I still have to do my work or whatever the case may be. If I, got, if I have to do more work and you're saying, yo, you're not paying attention to me. And I say, and I respond with. This is subjective because I don't know no, which just, scenario this is. It. No, I get I'm, it. You're just. No, I just feel like, okay. I feel like this is a real thing that could happen between mm-hmm. a relationship, and especially okay. with us. Like if I come mm-hmm. home to working and yeah. you're done working and you want quality time and I'm unable to give you quality time because I'm working, I can see me saying something like, yo, you don't understand because. Like you, you had to work. You work from home. You ain't do anything. Or if I come home, but why you gotta say you didn't do anything? See, so, I get what I, you're trying to say. Like at the end of the day, that's not a situation of hating on me. That's not. That's not why I would say that. So term, in a situation, anyway. why would you say, just, just like, like just like off from the strip? Us. Like you know what I'm saying? Like for example, like just from us. Like again, I think at those times you was frustrated with your own work. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? I had nothing hmm. to do with me wanting to spend time, or had nothing to do with me. You know, even doing so anything. Example, like, I'm about, like, I'm just giving an example. Like, so you just frustrated and I'm talking to you about it or whatever. You like, bro, you don't get it. You work a nine to five. Like, well, it's like, damn, I get like, what, what that got to do with your frustration? And, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. At right. what point, like, you see how I can say, I come home, you might want to spend yeah. some time. And I'm, but I'm saying, I don't think, what situation where I'm saying it has nothing to do with me wanting to spend some time. It's just, there's been times and when saying, you were going times? through, I'm, t- I'm about to tell you, when you were going through a state of, Switching jobs, okay. like when you were from radio trying to get into yeah. another radio, you know what I'm saying, whatever, right? There has been many of times where it was just, well, I'm an entrepreneur, you, you don't you get it. What did you say for me to say that? I honestly, sometimes we would just be talking, like it wasn't so oh, just talking about your situation. Like, say if I'm trying to give you advice, okay, like on just resilience and keep pushing forward. And woo, woo, there has been times you got frustrated, it's like that's not what I need right now. You don't get it. You working nine to five? It's like, bro, what does that have to do with me giving advice for your situation? There we go. All right, so in that situation, right? I don't think it's hate because <clears throat> it's like if I don't feel like you're get, like it's been times where I, I haven't given you what you needed in a situation like morning, for example. Right. So it's been times where like uh, a, a relative passed and I'm thinking I'm letting you grief alone. And to you, it's like you want me to come <clears throat> and be, be more present. Right. So I'm not giving you what you need in that situation. So if you was to say that, I wouldn't refer to that as hate. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you're if you're giving me something that I don't think I need or something that I don't recognize what i can't see clearly or whatever the case may be and i say you don't get it to me that's not hate i'm just saying yo you're not in my shoes right now or you wasn't in my shoes or we might be just in different shoes that's why i say to me the core is comparing when you shouldn't be comparing at all however and just for, for the sake of conversation i'm just saying i don't think it's hate i shouldn't be using those words i just don't think it's fair hate. It. you might i can see where you say you don't think it's hate however somebody whose intention is to give advice and not to compare at all and just giving advice, whether I'm in a position, not position, and I'm just giving friendly advice for somebody to even bring up your situation to compare it. It's like, bro, what you hate on me for? Like, just because you in your situation. Straight up. Like, that don't got nothing to do with me. I'm just trying to give you advice. That's just how I look at it. So I'm not saying I'm out here like, oh, this thing could be hating on me, like, whatever. But however, I can understand where somebody else could be like, damn, like, it's like every time I'm trying to be there for him, it's always being thrown in that, like, I don't work as hard as him. It's like, are you mad because I work at 95? So is it um just because we're you said hating that's yeah. something that we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna go deeper like into that. Competition like, versus hating. right because so like is that this one and the same synonymous or <clears throat> competition versus hating? So like if you're in so you're one time I remember with, like Jason mentioned on one podcast he was like he was like I don't care if my woman makes more money than me because if she make more money bet I'm about to just go try to make more money than her. Mm-hmm. To me right. that's competition. Okay. Now sometimes like competition drives you know, a person, whatever. But I feel like saying it like that is just like, bro, same team, bro. Same jersey. So, <laughs> hello. I get like, it, but I, like you said, I am an unorthodox uh, thinker, whatever. Sometimes, mm-hmm. right? He's so I, crazy. I feel like for me, we talk about gender roles, right? And we okay. always we, we always have this conversation of how men supposed to make more money than their woman, right? And I would be that? lying 
I feel like this conversation has been around for. I mean, wow. Because traditionally, right? If so we look at like upbringing. Cause we talking about everybody, bullshit. everybody want to be a millennial until it's trying, time to step in a double standard. I swear to God. So, and any other time is like we don't live in those times anymore. We, that's not where we where are. Not that's not this generation. Where, where was I going? Soon as I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general. As soon as a, a traditional or double standard come around, nah, it's been that way forever. Like why would we change that? No, nah, we didn't say that. So, that's not what anyway, I said. So no. anyway, where I was going mm-hmm. with it was, mm-hmm. it's not about changing. It's it's, it's honestly to stay in the culture kind of right or in that double standard whatever so what i was saying was if if you make more money than me right and in our history of just being in existence men supposed to make more money uh to women not saying that's true but in in the history of what they say we should do right men mm-hmm. supposed to make more money yeah, than that be woman. the breadwinner right so for me provider for, i don't care if you make more money than me and it's not that i'm in competition to make more money than you it's just that you're doing good so in the world aspect or the world language of it I'm not doing as good as I should be doing. So because you're making more money than me, don't step down. Keep doing what you're doing. But I'm gonna just work ten times more harder so I can mm-hmm. make more money than you. It ain't about. It's not about competition. It's about that's what we believe. Well, that's that's how we see the world. So because I see the world like that, I'm not about to as you. I'm not about to hate on you for making this much money. If anything, I'm gonna go harder so I can make more money than you. So I can be what the society says a man is. I'm not saying that that's right. I'm just yeah. giving you the way of thinking. Well, I'm not saying is, that that's right The at way all. that you look at it, that's fine. I don't think there's a problem, but, you know, I just definitely want to, you know, like, I know a lot of times we talk for us, but there are women who are actually dealing with men like that. Like, honestly, like, there's a lot of men that's a little more, like, haterish about it. That makes sense. I mean, I mean and, it, and it definitely makes sense. I just feel like even in the conversation of, um, you know, um, competition between friends, I think a lot of times we have this competition and we have this self. This see, I'm not good with words. You know what I'm saying? Like, but y'all got the fancy words to say. But we have this. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's something that. within yourself that English want that want to be way. that want to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I want to be like I told my friends today. Right? You're Paris, ambitious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ambition. Yeah. So it's not the fact that I'm in competition with you. If anything, I'm in competition with myself. Right. So I told my friend today, um, Terrence West, we talked on the phone. He had a great opportunity. And I said, yo, I want to be around more people that are that are like doing you, better you know than yourself. Yeah. That are doing better than me. Yeah, Why? Because that pushes me to yeah. be better. It's yeah. not that I'm coming yeah. to your house. You got a big house. I don't. It's, yeah. it's the fact that you got a big house. So I see it. Right. So the more I see it, the more I want it, the more I go get it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's not competition. But even to go into the conversation of like competition with friends, it's like a lot of times your friend might have something. I had this conversation with my, one of my mentors last night. Mm-hmm. And I was telling him, like, you know, we both in um, broadcast and we both have podcasts. And I was like, yo, I love your podcast because I hate it um, aesthetically, right? Like, mm-hmm. like to me, it's not aesthetically pleasing. But that means so much more for the conversation because I watch this podcast and I'm in, like, 40 minutes in. And I hate everything about it but the conversation. But, and to some people, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's clear what you're focusing on because I can watch it. Not like nothing around it, but still be tuned in and still yeah. be entertained because that's what, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like when I was telling them as a friend, I want to definitely do everything I can to help you get it better and to yeah. look pleasing and everything. But I can't lie and, and, and sit up here and say it's not a little piece of me that's just human. That'd be like, all right, if you help him get it to how it's supposed to look, mm. then he going to shit on you because his conversation is lit. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that that's true. I'm just saying just being transparent and being human, sometimes we feel like that. Yeah. But I just feel like when it comes to this conversation, as long as the the better you comes out on top, mm-hmm. that's all that matters. Because I can be transparent and tell you my feelings all the time, but it just, it's, up, it's up to you to... So are you saying that you think it's a natural feeling for people to... You know, if, if somebody they are around, friendship per se, like is doing better than them first, like, damn, like, you know... I, I just like wish that was me or or in a sense awesome. it's like or it's like one of those things where it's like <clears throat> damn their shit they 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 lit and you can help them with something but it's like mm, I low key don't want to even give them that because then they're gonna be even more lit and mm-hmm. it is do you think that's a normal feeling I think I mean for me I'm just being <clears throat> real I think yeah. it's a normal feeling and I, but the thing about it is sometimes I feel like some things we say that don't yeah. need to be said yeah but me I'm just the type of person that like I don't mind saying it and sometimes yeah. me saying it can get misconstrued you know what I'm saying mm. because I know where I'm at with it. So because I know I'm not going to never let that that devil side of me like yeah. take over, you know what I'm saying? In this situation, <clears throat> but so like because I I'm <laughs> I'm never going to let that 
Okay. Well, I'm being fair. Like, no, wow. I'm being very fair, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying in that situation, I know that I'm never gonna let that side take over me. So yeah. I can mm -hmm. I can speak about it. You know what right. I'm saying? I can tell you right. what my, my some of my my darkest right. thoughts because mm -hmm. I know that that's never gonna come to the light. Yeah. So I'm able to say, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I definitely ain't wanna help you, but I'm still gonna yeah. do it because that's the that's the right. You're my friend. You're my mentor. I go to you when it might be knowledge that you share with me that you ain't want to share with me. You know what I'm saying? And we're just different people. So so at, at what point do you feel like is the line? Between like friendly competition and envy, when or can that exist? When you don't allow, when you don't allow that good to to be at all, the, period. Yeah. You know what I'm so saying? When you line. don't allow that, so it's like yeah. if I let's say for example, I've always been telling him how to make it better. In my opinion, right? Yeah. If I didn't do that, that's hating. Yeah. I mean, that's not that's not hating, yeah. but that's letting your competition conquer the your friendship. Your friendship. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's whack. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But because I know that's whack. Even you if don't let it do it. even if a day I don't want to do, it, I'm like, man, shit. Let's say for example, um, I heard um. Our audio engineer talking about a job that him and his friend get, and he uh -huh. said, um, "May the best person get it." I I don't feel like he really mean that because of course you want to be the best person to get it, right? So in that moment, <laughs> in that moment, that's I feel like that's human nature, and that's okay. And if your friend was to get it, of course you wanted it too. So let's say, for example, we got a both we both have an opportunity to have a show on BT, right? right. Let's just say B. No, nah, we ain't gonna do that. Let's say um the biggest net network because BT is shout out to BT. I'm all black people, but let's say the, I'm just not going to marginalize myself. Right, let's right, say right, the right, right, network, right? right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we both had the opportunity, and I know he's missing something for his show that can get him on. If I didn't tell him, that's not hate, yeah. but that's that's the line. Yeah. In that moment, I would tell him, yeah. and I would really mm -hmm. let it be fair, even if yeah. I don't want to, because yeah. I know that I got that extra piece to get it. But in that moment, yeah. I'm going to force myself to tell him because yeah. that's just the right thing to do as a yeah. friend. That's yeah. interesting. Because a lot of saying? people don't think like right. that. That's interesting. That's not that. I don't feel like that's the. A lot of people don't think like that, honestly. And, I feel like, uh, but that's this goes into the conversation what we were talking about earlier. I was just like, it's just certain levels of admiration. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and stop looking at it as like a hate thing because you know, like I do know there's friendships you know that do have unhealthy competition tactics, and there's some that have healthy. You know what I'm saying? Just as much as admiration, like is good admiration, and there's bad admiration. Like, you know what I mean? So it's all just admiring. Either way, like, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, as long as you don't, never let the bad triumph the good, like, you're good. Like, I think, like, <clears throat> some friendships, though, you know, like, I'm not going to lie and say I haven't been in situations like that, like, where it's just, like, people don't want, like, people, like, what's that saying? People want you to do good, do good but never, never better, never than, better them. than them. Like, you know what I'm saying? So there'd be times, like, I, like, you know, we start at a certain place and I get a little up and it's, like, shade starts to come or, like, a little, like a little less support starts to come with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I think that a lot of people deal with that. And I think we were talking about just seeing tweets of that, like of people just feeling like people aren't fucking with them once they reach a certain point because it's coming with a little hate and it'd be coming from your own friendships or your own family. But even in that... And things like mm, that. Even in that, before you get to the family situation, because we definitely wanted to talk on that. Before yeah, you get to that, mm -hmm. I just feel like that's normal. Yeah, yeah, I want you to do good. And no, I don't want you to do better than me. It ain't, I'm not hating on you. Like, nigga, I want to be better than everybody. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like as long as you don't, as long not as you don't let that trump you, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, yeah. in, a, in a situation and in, in the, the network thing, right? If we both got the same opportunity, because I'm your friend, I'm going to give you the keys that I think yeah. can make you better. And I'm going to let faith be the answer what about that. What about the people who are experiencing people who do not let them get the fair chance, like, or get that fair chance like that? Like, a good friend will... Oh, Give them the opportunity just like them. Some people won't even pass the ball because, you know. I think, for me, I think it's all about perspective, right? Because yeah. somebody else can come to me and uh, that might be in a better position than me. And they make, make a lot of sense. And one of the things that I hear is, like, you got to let people learn on their own. Mm -hmm. You got to let people go mm -hmm. through their trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. right? That's not me. But I think that's a great way of thinking. Like, mm -hmm. if somebody was to say that to me, I would never be upset with that. Because I've heard it like, yo, you got to let people fail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't be their savior because if you're always their savior, then they, you're doing them an injustice because they never... Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? So, like... Yeah. An enabler. Right. So, it's like, I mm -hmm. definitely... I can't... I would never challenge that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never challenge that for, 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 for me. Like, because if... if That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, that's not my side of the spectrum, yeah. if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, that makes sense. It does make... So... What, what was Alex? What was the tweet that? What did it say? So, and that's earlier. what I was gonna get to. Like, the tweet that brought forth this conversation was essentially saying that uh, the guy said, "You, you, you all are in comp. Some of y'all are in competition with your friends, 
and it really showed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like mm-hmm. when you do see some people evol- like evolving mm-hmm. and they're mm-hmm. progressing and you see the success, like you said, like it might be natural that you feel something. But when you were talking about that part, something that I, it popped up in my mind, like if you have an expectation for yourself, mm-hmm. just because you have an expectation, does that make you envious or is it only if you're raising your expectation because you see somebody else raising their expectation? Because mm-hmm. like if you're vicariously living through, so, through mm-hmm. somebody per se, mm-hmm. and you have you see them moving up, and they're seeing you because you see that, it's like I've never experienced this. Is yeah. that a sense of envy or friendly competition? Like in you that know, regard? honestly, I'm just be honest. Like I can't really answer that because like you know, I'm just one of those people. Like anything my friends do, it's just inspiring. If anything, like I'm not out here looking at it in a way where it's like, like why her? Like you know what I'm saying? I've never been a why her bitch. Like. Huh. I don't even, that's weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I, w- I am the girl's like, damn, how she do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I'm trying to do that too. Or like, or damn, what she did for that, I want to do for this. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it comes with a equal level of support for me. But I do feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just to add on to Jay, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, like, for example, like I bring up this example all the time because it really meant a lot to me. Like, I was like, damn, I really wanted to buy a house this year. Mm-hmm. Right. I've been saying that for a minute. Like, that's. I wanted to buy a house this year. I'm seeing my friends buying houses. You know, I ain't gonna lie to say it wasn't a part like, damn. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be there, but it's not like a damn, like, why them? It's like a damn, I wish I could say the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, but what it does make you do is like, but I'm inspired because, you know, maybe not this year, but next year I'm gonna be up there with my bitches and it's up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so <clears throat> that's a great point. And when we talk about the word envy, right? I said this multiple times and I feel like life is a, a big, gap of perspective Mm -hmm. because me i don't think envy is a negative word as long as you use it right right so we're gonna look at the definition the definition of envy is dictionary j (laughs) a feeling (laughs) of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions quality or luck so for me i didn't know the first part again right a feeling of discontented or resentful longing right exactly so i was about to do that so for me I don't know what the hell discontented means. So I had to look up that word. So discontented means dissatisfied, especially with one circumstance. So if if envy is a feeling of discontented or resent resentful longing. No, no. If 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 uh if envy is a feeling of discontented or resentful longing, that means it's aroused by you. I can be dissatisfied with myself, mm. but I got it by looking at you. For example, my friends. All bought houses this year. I wanted to buy a house by 30. All my friends bought houses by 30. So now I'm resenting myself. We're not even resenting myself. I'm, I'm Is it resenting or motivation? It's right. motivation, because but I, I look at it like, like those are two Because I feel like when you, it's the I energy really that you put forth right. behind Right, because I feel like resentful so, behavior isn't... Um, you move differently. It's, it's, it's not... To me, I don't think resentful behavior is motivation behavior. I think resentful behavior goes into a place of dwelling, guilt, right. like, wow, like, da 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 and which is a form of anger and sadness and bitterness right so, and then i think the motivation part of it is like you know what bet let's get it like me next like you know what i'm saying and i think those are two separate feelings so i say that because like discontented right it says dissatisfied right, right. especially with what someone, someone else's, else's circumstances so right. like if if you got a house mm. it made me dissatisfied with my own self that's how i'm looking but at envy. i feel like it that's how i'm looking at you it. i feel like it shouldn't make you dissatisfied i feel like okay for example if you're already dissatisfied that you didn't get that house before somebody else gets it. To me, that's a normal feeling to feel it while they have it. Cause it's like, damn, I already felt like that. And like, damn. So, but I feel like if you didn't feel that way at all, like a house wasn't on my mind at all, but then you saw and then somebody else got it. And then I'm like, but I think, no, I, I don't think that's, but that's right. why I say, I think life is a, a gap full of perspective because what happens is even if, like I said, I say, if I was, if I wanted to get a house right by 30 years old and my friends get, get a house, I feel like, the feeling of discontent, I'm dissatisfied with myself. I'm not dissatisfied that you got it. That's why I say it's a, it's a gap full of perspective because in the definition it says the feeling of this, the feeling of being dissatisfied aroused by somebody else's situation. So even if I didn't think about having a house, right? right. To me, it's motivation because if you got a house and I didn't get a house and now I'm like, I'm dissatisfied with myself, I'm not dissatisfied with you because the definition doesn't say dissatisfied with somebody else. It says aroused by somebody else. So if it's if it if it's if what you did aroused or, or what you did made me to look at myself differently, shit. Some people need that. You got some people that self motivated, and then you got other people that look at other people to be motivated. Mm-hmm. And that's and mm-hmm. neither one is wrong. That's why I say life is a gap full of perspective. Mm-hmm. It depends how you look at it. So if I'm looking at it like, damn, this nigga just got a house. Fuck, I need to get on my shit. 
I'm not hating on you. Yeah. If anything, yeah. I'm just like, I yeah. need to get as long as it goes back to me. Yeah. That's what that's what I think. So I, I was gonna swag, segue a little bit, uh, in regards to like work. Right? My bad podcast. <laughs> uh, I just played some little baby. <laughs> I hope that don't fuck it up. How long was that? You, Ma, say you cut that out. No, <laughs> all right. Well, but yeah, I was gonna segue a little bit to like talk about work in that perspective, right? Mm-hmm. So like when you start a new job and you start at the beginning, and you you've never been in that workforce, and you start to see certain things that you would have never thought about, like. For example, I'm in news, the direct example. I never knew how broad media could be, just mm-hmm. as far as just the news part. So when I got in there, I came in as a producer, but then I'm seeing, okay, there's a director. There's a, you got the, the photogs. You got all of these different departments. Is like seeing that as motivation. Like, is that, com- but it's a very competitive field. You know what I'm saying? When you're in that news space, it's very competitive. You have everybody. What's wrong with, bro? But. I don't feel like that's what I was gonna say. In that department, I don't feel like it. Comp- I feel like it has to be as a dude because you want to put out your best for the product. It's a, and it's, it is. it's a dude right now, and I hope people like. I just, I just like the perspective, like even okay. the way I word things. People just take it wrong, and I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. It's a dude right now that worked for Pandora. He was at oh. another station. You know what I'm saying? He got promoted, and I see this nigga doing great. And the thing I look at, I'm like, yo, I want his spot. Period. Is because it his he's spot great. or his spot similar? So like, if there's an opportunity. Is it? I him? want that spot that because spot. clearly he's qualified for that okay. spot, and that that just shows how good of a person or a personality he is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. I'm not. I love it. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't want the spot. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, that nigga lit. I need that spot. Why? Because clearly it's something about that spot that shows that you got to be mm-hmm. qualified to have it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on him. That's just motivate. It, right. it motivates I guess, me. I guess if that it, makes sense. And that's like what I said. said. That competition. You right. need it in that I, industry. I really, Get where you say it's a gap for the perspective because I it's like as much as I agree with that I really do like I'm like damn like that's facts but then I feel like just out of divine order I feel like there's a spot just for me yeah facts. I don't give a mm, fuck about your that's spot that's hundred percent like real shit I don't give a fuck about your 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 spot cool my spot yeah. thank you God like you feel what I'm saying like and 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 that's where when we put like that gap full of perspective I get it because I got that so much I'm like damn that's real like. But like I just know my spot. But your shit, what you saying is you right know what I'm too. Saying? Like, Think about it. What you saying is the reason why we got highways, right? Well, not the reason because it, that goes back into some old shit. But let's say in highways you got lanes. Mm. Why? Why is it accidents? More than likely is because somebody crossed over a lane, mm. right? Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of accidents mm-hmm. happen, and it's insane with life, right? There's enough money in this world for everybody. Mm-hmm. We don't have to take nobody else's money because there's enough money in the world yeah. for all of us. For party, if you yeah. get what I'm saying. Yeah. So, what the moment you go outside of your lane, that's the moment yeah. you crash and fuck it up for everybody yeah. else. So, what you're saying is right, yeah. even though what I'm saying makes sense. What you're saying yeah. makes sense is, but that's where the perspective comes because even even in that, I can have a spot for me. Yeah. And it could be something similar, but yeah. I didn't get, I didn't know until I saw it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I might not want that spot in particular because it's him. I might get that spot somewhere else, but I didn't, I didn't understand that spot until I saw it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And that just shows that I'm just saying both can coexist. Exactly. A lot of times in, in life, we are like two truths can't coexist in the, yeah. in the presence. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's just not true. It don't yeah. always have to be a truth and then a false. It could be two truths in, in the same sentence. Mm-hmm. I mean, shit, two truths and a lie. I mean, it's a game because two truths can exist, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. So it's like all, all that to say is like, yo, it can be both. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I can I can recognize damn. Right. Like, for example, I got a job now and I'm making good money and I'm like, damn, great. Money. At first. Now I'm hating. So at first I'm like, <laughs> but nah, so now at, fir- at first I'm like, um, at first I'm like, yo, I need to make money so I can we can survive all this and all that, right? Now I'm making money and it's almost like, nah, because the niggas in my job, they paying me. So I'm getting money. I'm getting money, but they paying me. So I'm like, oh nah. Mm-hmm. This ain't this ain't it. It makes you yeah. but it's like you get what I'm saying? it's enlightenment that I can do better. Exactly. There's, there's, there's right. more to do. Right. Exactly. So it's right. like, yo, it's just motivation. But I don't feel I like that is motivation. Right. That, motivation. That's the like, when you feel I, like, I feel like that's motivation. My friends, I need yeah. all my niggas to be lit. Cause I need, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at like, but oh, see, back. Yeah. that's the energy. Yeah. And I was gonna go back to that because what you just said in that statement yeah. makes it complete. You said my friend. So it's like it's inclusive. It's not like this it's is just exclusive and for you, me, and me I just us. eat. But, exactly. but I mean, it's I mean, honestly, I'm gonna be thing. real, being human. That's true, but even even in that is a selfishness because if my friend's not lit, I'm not lit. I can't be the littest nigga in my group because if I'm yeah. the littest nigga in my group, I'm stagnant. Yeah. I don't no, know what's great. You know I'm saying like uh-huh. even when I came around, so like being around her friends, just seeing everybody with houses and shit. I'm like, I need to be around that. Mm-hmm. And honestly, just being fair, I'm being, I'm gonna be real, transparent. That is a part of selfishness because it's like 
if I'm not around that, I can't grow. But because I always want more for myself, I need to want more for people around me yeah. because if the people around me not but that's, doing good, I'm not doing that's not good. Inspired, I mean, you're supposed if they're to not have inspired that. because it's like it's almost exactly. like if you're not inspired by me and I'm the only one in your group that's doing lit, like what am I doing wrong? Right. Because I'm supposed to be lit enough for the whole group. Like, nah, I need to get like you. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I understand that a hundred percent. So no, no that's facts. All that to say is competition it's, can it's, exist. It's, it's, competition can exist. Yeah. Yeah. And it's okay. But it's healthy, all about the perspective. Com- I healthy like competition can it's exist. It's all about the perspective. It's all about Not the that bitter malice shit. We're not talking you about that. Sour apple bitter bitches. I ain't fucking with them. <laughs> so, <laughs> lemon. They be lemon faces. Wow. Sour. Lemon. Oh, wow. Yo. <clears throat> we were talking about. Um, Lime. Speaking Lemon. of like that, I feel like. Can we get back into the, the relationship aspect? Or you had a you okay. had a question that I thought yeah. was a great question. It came late, but I thought it was great. And I'm like, let's add it. And that was the um It's in the trending. Oh, it's in the trending? Mm-hmm. Well, we can go down to um what's the chick name? Amber Rose? Yeah. Yo, I just wanted to go to that for a second, right? Okay. <clears throat> Cause I feel like this is something that we can talk about. Cause I feel like me and Shade had our fair share of like traumas from past relationships that yeah. made us who we mm-hmm. were today. Let's yeah. break it down and, for real. Right. And not in I don't want to say, well, shout they used to, and well, I used to too, but I don't do it as much either. So what I would say is like we both had our situation that we would talk about, mm-hmm. and it didn't take for let's just play the clip. Well, we don't have the clip, so basically, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know how to clip. So basically, <laughs> Amber Rose, let's let the people know what's going on. Amber Rose said that um, Kanye West was a bully, right? And, and she, the, the, the reason she said this was because every time he gets a chance to say to speak about their relationship is always in a negative mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. And it's always to like de- degrade her or demean her or yeah. put her down in a way. Right. And it's and been like 10 years. Sorry to yeah. 10 years. Yeah, no, no, it's been, it's been like 10 years. years. Yeah. Right. And that's understandable yeah. coming from her, her side. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about it? So what I do, so what I will say is like, in terms of the public, I agree with her a hundred percent because, you know, I really don't talk about a lot of my past relations into the public. Like I really just don't think it's worth acknowledging. And um, at the end of the day, like, you know, if you just constantly keep highlighting all the bad about the partner, it's just like, well, what was you on? Because mm. um, that was your nigga. That was your bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's kind of like it, it, it really makes you look bad, too, to be mm. honest, because it's like, I mean, you like something about him. You like something about her. So it's like you can't really down talk them to the public. Now, what I will say, relationship to relationship, like Jay said, we had our fair share of acknowledging our traumas and what we went through and what we didn't like about mm-hmm. our past relations. Like, you know what I mean? Things that affect so, you. That right. But, but I'm also, I also, you know, I'm, I pillow talk to my nigga. Like, I'm going to talk to my, mm-hmm. my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, so I feel like privately to each other, I do feel like there does, ha- does have to be a balance though. It can't be just like, you know, like, and when is this coming up and why is this coming up at the same time? Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, obviously talking about it in terms of just like, you know, you know, you date in and y'all talking about like, oh, my old, you know what I'm saying? What, I, you, what you experienced in your previous relationships and what you didn't like, you know what I'm saying? And what you're acknowledging that they may be so much different at and like, you know, whatever. So you're also giving them their flower. You, you give your new partner their flowers like, wow, you really don't do this. And this is what such and such used to do to me. I think it could be a compliment. But then I do think at times it can get if you keep doing it, it can get carried away. And it makes it seem like, bro, you stuck there or something like, you know what I'm saying? So. I definitely think it has to be a balance. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's something we caught to make sure we wasn't overly, I guess, doing it or something. Like, I don't know. What'd you think? I think, I honestly think, um, so hearing you speak, it um brought a new opinion to my, my mind, right? I think it definitely should be a respect level of, because that's somebody you dealt with, you, you should respect them enough to not want to put them down in the public. Like, because ultimately, all you're doing is putting yourself down because you did deal with this person, right? So I definitely understand that, and I definitely respect that, and I definitely can see how somebody yeah. can think that. And I, I, and moving forward, I would take that into consideration. Uh-huh. Prior to hearing that, my first thought was, to be honest, is that's my experience. Yeah, that's, that's what it. makes Real. me who yeah. I am. You know what I'm saying? So if I didn't like that, or if I didn't agree with that, I'm just sharing. I'm just because some people are transparent. Some people aren't. We aren't here to say which one is right. better because sometimes being too overly transparent yeah. can make people think things uh-huh. 
they that you don't mm-hmm. want them to think about mm-hmm. you honestly and i've i've had to witness that because sometimes you tell people things or you tell the world things that just don't yeah. They don't, don't have because to be they don't. Yeah. I feel like they don't see the whole picture. Exactly. Yeah. They don't, they don't yeah. experience that with you. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. but for me being a, a very transparent person, it's something that I'm trying to balance myself. My initial thought is, yo, that's what makes me me. So if I'm telling you who I am, I'm telling you all that came with me. So mm-hmm. if I can tell you I got arrested for this and this and this, and or I made these mistakes, I, I can tell you to say. that this made me who I am today. Yeah. And yeah, it's unfortunate that 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 person had to be you. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But I'm not saying it to down you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just saying it my truth. for my truth. I'm spitting this shit. Yeah, I'm <laughs> saying it for my truth. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's not intentional to down you. It's intentional to show the yeah. audience who I, I am, am and how I got here. Yeah. But after you said it, it's like yeah. well, you have to have a sense of respect for the person you're dealing with. Right. And not even the person you're dealing really with, think, just people right. in general. I just think it's more so like just respecting your experiences. It's not even really person-based. It's more so like, you know, like just as much as I respect some of the things I don't share about my parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some of these experiences is it's kind of like, like, you know what I'm saying? I think the first time I actually talked about my situation, you know, out loud, you know, was at a uh, a women's empowerment event. But it really wasn't in malice to shit on my ex. It was mm-hmm. more so I was trying to help other women. Like, yeah, you know, that, your, yeah, you I was, heal right. through it. However, yeah. if, say, he sees that clip, I'm sure he'd be like, what the fuck? Like, you got me out here looking like a monster. And rah, 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 and I was there for you through this. And I, what about all this that I did? And I'm sure he could say that. But again, into agreeing with what you said, those are my truths. I can only take my traumas and the things I've learned, and I can only share those truths. The way I can share them. The way I can share them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think it's just more respect and experiences. Now, what I don't do just as much as, fuck my ex, like, even, like, say, my daughter's father. Like, other situations, I'm never online, like, da 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 like, these niggas. Like, I just feel like, again, these are my experiences. So because they're my experiences, yeah, it might show me, show people how far I grew, but how far did I really grew if I'm still attached to them? You know not, what I'm saying? See, like, and I'm not, literally gonna say that, like, yeah. I'm never attached to my past and I don't want nobody to find me by my past. So what I'm not going to do is continue to act like they, I wear them on my shoulder or on my back, like a backpack, mm-hmm. but I will, you know what I'm saying? In terms of like, even like, for example, like, you know, I seen somebody the other day, like, bashing her baby father whatever whatever and i and this is the first thing i said because i knew what probably a lot of people hit her on the dm because she wrote on her story and i text i dm'd her and i'm like look if you want to talk you can pull up on me i'm not gonna say what i want to say here but you can pull up on me because i just also feel like you know when you really want to change a situation or you really grew from a situation the intent is never to bash like the intent is never to belittle like you know what i'm saying now if you're up here and you want to you know talk to somebody else i feel like it still could be a uh um intimate conversation where i'm helping you versus bad like belittling somebody else because at that point it's like did you grow from the situation like did you find your lessons in the situation you know what i'm saying i also don't do it because it's like i had to find my lessons in the situation like you know what i'm saying like on what i allowed myself to experience like on what i did in the situation whether i was reactive or proactive like you know what i'm saying like it's just it's so many aspects like at the end of the day like yeah you might have been an experience with but it wasn't one person experience it was two like you know what i'm saying so that might be your truth but now you still gotta have enough respect because you gotta remember somebody else has a truth too like you know what i'm saying so what did they see in you now would you like if they came up here and i'm like well da 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 and you was you nah like so it's like respect the experience not even so much of the person it's just respect the experience and like, it's interesting that you said that because in that particular situation when she's talking about kanye one thing that kind of stood out for me is that in the clip, well, I didn't see the whole interview, but like outside of her bully saying that he's bullying her, he didn't say anything negative. You know what I'm saying? So it's just interesting about yeah. like one's perspective towards the situation as opposed to you. But then it's like, how do you vet that? Like, but who is to say she didn't say anything negative? Because if I'm well, Kanye, I, I'm talking about well from if, the clip if, that I from seen. the clip, if I'm Kanye West and you said I'm a bully, like I don't want to be labeled as a bully. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, that's why and I was going to say and perspective. And yeah, I say me sharing my experiences. I'm not. That's, so, that's the last thing I'm trying to so be. I'm not trying to be called that, narcissistic what? either. She right. said he's a narcissist. That's what narcissistic. Real. That's mm. what they do. So it's like I'm not trying to be called that either. So what level of it? Because you know, obviously she spoke out because she's saying that like Ten Kanye years. was bullying her for ten years, right? So these are her truths. Like so, she's only speaking out because she feels like she's being targeted or attacked in some sort so she's like you know i gotta tell the people like somebody's calling me a prostitute out here i'm not a prostitute somebody's shitting on my name mm. i'm not this guy somebody telling people that they had to take 30 showers after they were fucking me for two years i'm not that girl like when does it come a line of 
clearing up your reputation versus belittling the next. If you're clearing up your reputation and your character as a person. So again, let's look let's talk about perspective. Who's revenue? Thank you. Let's talk about perspective, right? So we don't know who, who's to say that me giving you my experience is not me clearing up my reputation. And shit, you said you made you made a statement that I didn't really agree with far as like, you know, well not I didn't I can't not agree with it. But I didn't agree with for myself. He was like, I'm not attached to my past. I feel like as a as an African American culture, we all are attached to our past because that's the only thing we fucking that's what we really angry at, to be honest, right? So, and I'm not saying it's you, but um, I feel like a lot of times we are angry at our past, and we're we're ta- we're, we're we're saying it to not even clarify to the public, but to clarify to ourselves, because I'm disappointed in myself. I don't feel like I should be I should have been in that situation, and hmm. to but say, but I feel like it's one thing to say that. Than to belittle this. But no, when so, you say that, so, are you, you saying like, say that? I could say like validation really for your disappla- anger. Like, well, more so, just like I'm really disappointed in myself that I allowed this for myself. I see myself better than this. Like, right. why am why am I here? And That's one thing to say versus like this nigga did this to me, this bitch did this to me, and I can't believe, and I'm da 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 da. It's like I feel like that's a sense of accountability. And I, but for I yourself, think holding th- yourself right, accountable. I, I, Right. When does it become like so? Oh, this is what I'm saying. So when you say like, not to cut you off, no, you're, you're like, good, you're good. you know, as American African American culture, we're attached to our past. I can't agree with that statement because that means that I didn't heal from my, some of my past. And I'm not saying all of it, but I'm saying like, for example, like accountability is a healing process in itself. So if I could be like, you know, I can't, I, you know, I'm disappointed in myself. You know, what I'm saying I shouldn't have been in those situations. Whatever. And then there's another thing is like, so for example, I'm disappointed in how I reacted to, you know, police officers doing this to me, rah, 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 like, rah, you know what I'm saying? I was out there while and whatever, whatever. And then there's another thing is it's like, fuck these people. They keep doing this to me. I feel like those are two separate, yeah, but even like, in- I feel like one's attached to the past and one's attached to the present of moving forward. But even That's just in how the, I, even, I, I look even, at even it. Even in the situation. example of me saying, let's say. Man, I had to take 30 showers. I probably would never say that, but like, yo, I can't believe I did this. I had to take 30 showers to get over this. That's what I had to do for me to mentally get over it. But I have a but question. I, don't think I he feel said like, it like that. But the thing is, and that was what, that was what I was going to ask. I don't think he said it like that. Is if it's one thing if you think it, right? And you, you think it to yourself, but what do you gain in saying it publicly? Right. Again, I just think that's just uh, a mental block for all of us. Even opening a statement, I'm like, even in competition, right? The verbiage could change. Okay. We shouldn't be comparing. So there's a lot of things we do unintentionally as humans. So even me saying that is not to it's not to belittle somebody else. Is any if anything, like for example, Shadi met me talking about my ex. And I might have said a lot of things that was belittling to her that she if she was to saw see. Yeah. But it was never to belittle her. It was just the fact that I felt like I I shouldn't have been in that situation. You know what I'm saying? I, and again, I'm sorry that. It, me share my experience it had to be you and your name i apologize but that's not i'm not even worried about you. it being you yeah. but that's why i bring up us not being over our past and i'm not saying anybody else i can only talk about me and i feel like as a whole collectively i feel like any anyway just me i feel like i'm not there's been times where i haven't healed from my past yeah. and i didn't even know it yeah. mm-hmm. because of, of the things i'm yeah. saying looking back on it I'm like damn if i really healed I that wouldn't even been in the up. conversation, yeah. right. period. Right. Even exactly. no matter how it was, if I healed, exactly. that wouldn't be a part of the conversation. But because that was a part right. of the conversation, clearly I didn't heal. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I'm, a lot of times I just feel like, yeah, we can do better how we were things. But a lot of times it's just us not healing properly. Do you think that it can potentially damage a current situation? I mean, if you, yeah, I think it, it's all about how you do it. Um, because if you're coming off in a way that you are still, like you said, attached to it. I mean, there is in some... Attached in a way because I, it's a slippery slope with the attachment conversation. Life right? is a fucking slippery because slope. you're going to, right. It is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you do have there are certain things that happen in that situation that shape you yeah. today, right? So you got to accept that as a truth and a reality. But then at the same time, it's just like if it's hindering you, did you give yourself enough time right. to really heal to really properly yeah. go through the motions so that in this present situation, I can communicate it and still yeah. have a conversation about it without yeah. it feeling like me beating myself up or having to really tear down somebody right. in my present situation. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's where we have that fine line because I can talk about my trauma. You're supposed to talk about mm-hmm. my trauma because how are you going to know if you're really coming to know me as a person, you're going to have to know my truth. Right. Like the way you, you talk about yeah. this trauma says a lot about you. Exactly. Yeah. No, and it's go. like, if and you can see it as a healing yeah. process and everything is like, and yeah. I remember talking to 
it was interesting because like in one of my past situations, my uh one of my exes, she she used to tell me like I'm cool with all my cool with some of my exes. And I was interested because I was like, fuck no at first. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, hell no. Mm-hmm. But she never said anything negative. And I was wondering, and she was like, because at the end of the day, even no matter how it ended it, good or bad, you helped me grow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. that situation, in that mis- in the midst of that situation, mm-hmm. I have grown. Yeah. Whether it was traumatic, painful, yeah. I've taken the time to heal so that moving forward, yeah. I know that I'm either not going to settle for this, right. or you showed me a different level Where that I now I can be. move forward. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's when we start to have that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Figuring out where you go in that direction. No, that's oh, a fact. Yo, yeah. um, talking about like relationships and shit. Let's go into this. Let's go into something funny. Um, so, <laughs> Sweetie, been let's talking talk about, about it. this. Uh, <laughs> I only had that clip, but Sweetie was talking we about do. how it's in the group chat. You got it in the group chat? Yep. So this is basically shit. You know, I'll let y'all let y'all hear it for y'all. So, so you got it. Send a text message. Yeah. So basically, so she was just saying like, if that nigga not buying you a Birkin, and then it's been a lot of talk around this. Um, I feel the like Birkin bag. The, I feel like the Birkin bag talk keeps approaching. Can we explain what a Birkin bag is for the people? I'm about to go to Stock X or something. Too poor. I, need to know. I don't even know. I heard it was so, twenty thousand dollars. Hermes. It's an Hermes bag. It's gonna be thirty. It was like a whole thirty. You bitches want a Birkin bag and not a ring? God damn, bro. A, so, would you rather have a Birkin bag or, or a new car? Because there's certain cars that you can get that are pretty nice for thirty k, forty k. First of all, I need not spell Birkin, but whatever. What? Gotta learn. Oh, you it's, almost, it's almost our time. Okay. It's crazy because I want to stock X and it's not even First prices. mail, Burke and me. Uh, it should say, oh, it says nine. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. So just nah, on, that's, OGP, that's a I'm deal, say, actually. OGP, like, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think Birkins are cute. I've said this time and time. Shoot me if you want. I really don't think. I feel like they look like an old lady bag. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. However, you know, if we hit a mill, I want one. <laughs> It's a so, statement. It's a statement. So it's a statement. I'm getting money. It's you funny know what that I'm you saying? said that, right? I, I'm, it's a statement. Real shit. That's interesting that you said that because, like, you know, the yeah, debate has been going on. It. Thirty-seven. The, the, the debate. The debate. <laughs> I can't even speak. The debate's been going on on Twitter, but somebody said that point. Yeah. They were like, if I know that the person can get it, and they can get it a hundred times over, right? Yeah. And they have the capacity for it, and they come yeah. home with a Michael Kors bag. I'm gonna be pissed. No, I'm gonna be pissed with the fuck like, you give me this. First of all, so, I don't give a fuck. Uh, hold on. Let me just put this on the table right now. Even now, if you bring me a Michael Kors, I'm big mad. I don't give a fuck. That's all I can afford. Parents used to buy Michael Kors out the store off the yeah. regular. But that's that was I... when we was 21, 22, 23. But that's I'm not wearing... You paid your dues. You that's all I, I paid dues. my dues. I wore a coach before I wore Michael Kors. And when they moved to the left, but that's they moved to the left. all I can afford right now is, is Michael not... Kors. No, you can't. That's all I can afford is Michael Kors. You can, you can at least afford a Louis. Don't play with me. At least. You, I looked at them prices. Them motherfuckers are expensive. No, not the one my mom got. You know, I could do me a little tote for 12. You got that. Don't lie. Don't lie to the people. You get that a, you get that a week. Stop Whoa. playing with the people. What? You get more than a stack of Whoa. week. Whoa. <laughs> what are you talking about? You getting money. Don't sit play with these people. Yeah, Louis me. What? Louis me. You ain't finna Michael Kors me. <laughs> Nigga getting stacks plus a week. No. A week. That's not true. And talk about some. I'm gonna get you a Michael K. I'm not getting for that. two two hundred. I'm not getting it. If you don't put that, I'm not making that. <laughs> <laughs> not what I'm making. First and foremost, <laughs> he's lying. But um, yeah. You um, know what? But not nah, so. Don't not for, is that is no that is that MK? Ma- <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't, is it's, that manifestation? <laughs> what? No, that's manifestation. That's no. This is manifestation. Fuck off, Jay. <laughs> Listen. Oh, this is all I'm saying. If my nigga is Niggas a billionaire DM, nigga like, too, I think you owe me some bread. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, no, he's broke, y'all. I'm bankrupt. <laughs> I know. We we bought a new dog. I'm taking a fifty cent approach. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nah, nah. What you saying, bro? All I'm saying is, so I get the statement of like, you know, if my nigga got it to a hundred times over, and you get me the minimalist, minimalist. That's not even a word. The smallest bag the of the price. I don't want that. 
But however, this is what I would say. So just going to her actual point, she said, if a nigga can't buy you a Birkin or pay your bills. And I think she said that or because obviously I don't know why people keep talking about this Birkin bag like it's a little fucking purse from Target. Like my nigga, this that's the million dollar like, question right like, there. Like stop talking about it like it's fucking twenty dollars. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like everybody can't afford no fucking Birkin. Like shit, the people who getting Birkins can't afford Birkins. So okay? I mean, honestly, though, like, but I mean, honestly, I feel like. If that's her lifestyle, that's what she's going to compare yeah. to. What do we expect her to compare it to? Right. She's not going so, to say who. But, because, so that's why I think she said, or pay your bills. Because I feel like, I, I think she was addressing the women who, you know what I'm saying? Your man may, can't got it like that, but he can't do nothing for you. So I think it was past the Birkin. When I listened to her really say, she was like, if a nigga can't do, to me, all she said, if a nigga you. can't do nothing for you, you shouldn't be fucking with that nigga. That I agree with 100%. And let me be real. Here we go. No, honestly, I want to, um, I want to, I saw, I was thinking, I was thinking about this more than, uh, than I thought I would be. Because huh. when I first seen it, I'm like, it ain't mean nothing, but then I thought about it. Okay. Let's be real. We come about double standards. Women do, women do have the short end of the stick when it comes to dealing with men. We, we gotta, gotta be real. Slim pickings. We gotta be real. So. Slim fucking pickings. I mean, pickings. and we hear it, we hear it, we, hmm. I don't Slim. want, I want to be careful with what I'm saying. Because I we, we hear, hear we hear the sayings of. If my nigga gonna cheat or do something, it got at least I'm gonna be in like uh I don't know. I'm, if I'm not I'm gonna cry, cry in a, a Toyota, I'm gonna cry in a Bentley truck or right. some shit like that, right? And you wanna I, cry in a Nissan or you wanna cry in a Bentley? Right. So it's like I said it to say like because women they the game ain't fair for them, right? So now we're starting to see the game even evening up. Yeah. And I'm not saying that cheating or infidelity or treating your woman wrong can compare to money, and it should. I'm not saying it should, but however, because the, it's, it's never been a level playing field. We see it leveling. It's, we see it starting to be level now. So now it's like, all right, if you like, you see girls like, yo, niggas want pussy. Period. I want money. Period. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not <laughs> this saying pussy it's, costs money. It's not saying <laughs> one not, plus one equals but two. I'm not, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm okay? just, I'm, just, I'm being a realist, right? And I'm not capping. Who sets I got the a price point? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to go. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's, I don't the need to cap. I'm just kidding. You know, do you know who sets the price <laughs> point? Kidding. The type of bitch you fuck so with. Let's not, so real. So I'm not, so I'm not capping. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I got a girl. I don't need to be fishing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm just saying, just being understanding of how some things that I put out there, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and treating women and, and miss, you know what I'm saying? Just miss dealing with women. So I'm looking at it like, I mean, if she's expecting these things, I mean, it's certain things that men expect that's, that's not what, realistic. That's where it evens the playing score. Cause for all these years is I need a girl who could cook, cook clean, keep herself together, hair, ass. So titty, now she need a right. nigga that's going to buy like, her. I need a nigga who could pay a bill or two. I need a nigga. That's why I can't. I don't really think her point was just the Birkin. I, feel like that was just I think her point that was just the extreme point because her niggas getting her Birkins left and right. I think she's just saying if you ain't dealing with a nigga who's taking care of you, and I don't even think it means to the highest highest degree because I think Sweetie takes pretty good care of herself. She's bomb. She looks good. She, I think she she don't got, she got money a, a show about yeah. designer bags like the fuck. She a got a Bir <laughs> the Birkin brats. <laughs> the fuck? That's some rich bitch shit. That's some rich Birkin bitch shit. Brats. She got they be talk her Birkins be talking. Shout out to Sweetie. I like her. But all that to say is, that's creative I think, as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Now nah, she's creative, the most creative, non-creative I've ever seen. But she's creative. Wait, <laughs> that's not hate. Nah, <laughs> I think it looks good on her. So why, is she not a, why she is not a creative? Because because let me call you a not a non-creative. You're right. You're gonna be like, facts, oh, I ain't facts, a creative. Facts, <laughs> facts, Nigga, facts, you just got facts, into this facts. shit. No, I only said that because I seen a tweet that was like, "Sweetie, the most <laughs> talented, non-talented motherfucker I ever seen." I but like, I fuck with her though, like, cause I like her song with Janae Aiko. So shout out to that. But all that to say is, I don't think her How point. Not... Never mind. What? I was gonna say, Kim K. What's Kim K. Show? She's a beauty influencer. What's okay, that? Here's really? what I'm gonna say. What's that even a thing? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before here's she even I'm gonna say. Like, here's what I'm, I'm sorry, we segue. Yeah, yeah. I, no, <laughs> we're gonna segue. I just gotta say this. Y'all can say what she want about Kim K. Kim K is the first person who made it clear that you could get paid off of beauty and beauty alone. She set the tone for all these little Instagram models, she all of that. They, well, no, she's not the first person. She, like, she like, and, and, and to say it, likes. you know, I get it. People don't like to, you know what I'm saying? Because she is a culture vulture. All white people are. You think Let's she's get a culture vulture? Yes, but they all are. I mean, <laughs> I that's know. why. I'm asking. I, don't that, know. I mean, first of all, they all are. Like, not, we are the culture. Like, we set the tone for everything. So, at the end of the day, they get a lot from 
other cultures and other like they not they don't got that drip by themselves. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, however, what I will say is Kim made chic popping. Like, and I'm gonna always give her flowers for that. Like, they like the Kardashians themselves made chic and trends and and they made that shit a thing. So just shout out to her for that. However, it's you know, again, she's another person who's the most talented, non-talented person you ever seen and made it work and caught billions off of it. Okay. I can't be mad at that. That's inspiration. That's motivation. Shit. That's so no, it's not hate, because I'm looking at it. Look, how can I get like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? How can I make my beauty sell me? Cause I don't want to do shit either. I want to quit my job too. I want to get paid to just be me. And sit here and get my hair done and look pretty. Fuck you, me. Hell yeah, no me. But no, I say, I, me. I say, oh, um, I think, um, honestly, it is like it's it's it's, it's, it's leveling leveling the playing fields. And once we start, yeah. and once we start seeing the, the playing fields get it's leveled, it's not like y'all giving them like bare it. minimum no you more. Y'all not coming in and dropping dick off and giving bubble gum and leaving. Okay, they want some money. Okay, they want to get their nails done. They want to get their lashes done. They want a new wig. Okay. They want that phone bill paid, okay? You're not just dropping dick off and leaving. And I think that the problem is the reason why it's getting level because I think a lot of women experienced that life for a while. See, I don't think people remember niggas wasn't always getting it. It wasn't always scammers everywhere. It was a whole bunch of broke niggas leeching off of bitches at a time. And I'm going to let y'all know. We ain't forget, okay? We did not forget, okay? Now bitches are saying, you know what? Give me something. I want something. You're going to pay me for this box. I think it's the and opposite. No what I think, I think not the obvious, but I think it's not it's not that the fact that niggas been leeching off of bitches. Nigga, I feel yes like they have. I'm I not, know niggas who had everything in bitches' names. I know bitches niggas that's been driving bitches' cars forever. I know niggas who's been asking, "Can I get forty dollars just to go up the street real quick?" Forever. So like, stop. I'm them not, niggas has been listen. in the cut. Them niggas, them niggas who remember them. My car in a shop, ass niggas. Come on, but like niggas not, remember them. Wait, come on. I'm, I ain't forget these niggas. I'm not saying. Listen, we ain't forget y'all bums. Nigga. I'm not. I'm not saying what that. You mean? I'm not saying that that hasn't happened. But I'm Mr. saying Flip. I don't. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that's the reason why I'm seeing the switch. I'm just my opinion. I'm thinking you seeing the switch bitches because is tired of I'm y'all. thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, because bitches are tired, but I feel like you, you know how you know how niggas be like, oh, you know how girls be like, all these niggas ain't shit. All these niggas the same, right? The I'm starting to see well, not I ain't mean to say that. I'm I'm think I'm starting to think it's because of that aspect. So it's like, all right, if niggas gonna be niggas, the least I can get from it is the, something. The best you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. And I don't feel robbed of my right, box. So, so like, goddamn, at least I got something out of it. I don't think it's the fact that niggas been leeching off a woman. I just think it's that the fact that niggas been niggas and ain't and woman ain't seeing no change. And it's like, all right, well, shit, if I ain't gonna see no change, at least I can get some change. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, like. Put that shit on a, put that shit on a so t-shirt. You hear me? That's what I'm thinking. Again, it could be the other way no, around No, no, I too, mean, but... I agree with that too. But you know what? I'm not talking for the bitches who talk to niggas for do, two days and be like, well, can I, have, can you buy me this? You bitch, you're broke. Okay, that's pathetic. Okay, I'm not talking about that. That goes back to either. expectations. Like, yeah, being, I'm not talking about them bitches either because my friend told me that a bitch, he went on a date with a bitch and the bitch was like, after the first date was like, can you pay my car note? And he was like, bitch, I'm getting money, but I'm not tricking now. Like, I ain't even fuck you yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't talking about that. We ain't can talking you, about that. The question is like, can you pay your car note? Like, I mean, if you can't, it, and, and, and you asking, and that's your expectation. Okay, so you know what? So I seen a tweet where okay. it was like, bitches are asking for this, but it's been, niggas been saying they want a bitch with money for a minute. Like, they always wanted a girl with, stand, like, who took care of themselves, had a good job, and whatever, whatever, whatever. So in return, I just think that women are looking for the same. Like, it's like, okay, I can pay for me. <laughs> you can pay for you. Can you pay for me? <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, right, and, I, and, I, and I didn't mean to take it here, Can you? Pay for me too. I I ain't mean to take it here, but I feel like I got to. I feel like you said men want women that are like successful and getting money. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't think so. I say I think we say that, but on, well, again, I can't speak for all men. I feel like I've always had a soft spot in my in my heart. For a like real one, bitch. Not a somebody that a you can take care. Somebody of. I can help. You know what I'm saying? It's like she got she got she got. It's like it's always a part of like a part of my heart that want to be Superman. So you, I want to come into a situation and be like. 
I, I was made able, you. I built you. That's nah, when niggas start talking that, that no. shit. I did this for you. That's I not where I'm you, going. Bitch, get, your, get your own shit, cause niggas love to we, do that shit too. We, we do you want? Do you want to be? I was gonna say, nah, do you want nah, it to nah, be? He was having a mature conversation. Nah, like, yeah, but niggas do that shit. Be like, not, listen, oh no, bitch, I got you when you ain't have shit. When you ain't have nothing. And now you got some, and then no, that's now not, it's, nah. that's never my reason to nah. to it. My you reason just is, want them to need you or like depend yeah, on it's you. Like it's, to... it's, it's something. It's a, something about being a man or a king. It's like yo, I came in but, and I did what I was supposed to do. Like, and it was like I, I help when I need it, it when, when you need the help. Not the fact like, that I want. I was gonna ask it, you. But why can't it be? She hold, I'm whole, and I still help her because well, I can't because I want to take care of her because said, she's taking care of herself. Why I gotta be like I want to feel needed? Because she don't got but nothing. Wait, Why wait, she wait, can't... wait, wait. Where are you getting this from? I just said there's always been a soft spot in my heart <laughs> where I just wanted to come in and but be able to help. why would that be there? I, that because I want to help. Like, it's like, damn. Help? Like, I always want to... But why you can't... So, I, in my head, like, <laughs> in my head, what I'm hearing is like, you know, yeah, he wants a girl to need him, all that shit. Right? But what I'm saying is, why can't you want to help because she deserved the help and not because she needs the so, help? So for you me, you get what I'm saying. Some thing. women deserve well, help, so no, because they've been doing it all this time so on their own. Saying, for so me, they deserve it. Why they gotta need it? So, why can't I deserve so it? So for me, I'm saying the same thing. If I'm coming into your life right and I'm make you my woman, that right there to me makes you deserve the world. So I kind of want to be. First of all, you should be thankful you're my boyfriend. Yeah, of course, both. Like I think, yeah, I mean. But you want to be funny. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm looking at it like, yo. My boyfriend if, should be so happy I'm his girlfriend. Yeah, but yes, that's my point. Yes. Remember it, when I told you that? Point. That's so like, I'm so it. happy that I'm your boyfriend that I'm willing to do whatever for you. Yeah. So it's like, I, not like, because I need it, because I deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Not because I need it. And I ain't got no job. <laughs> and I'm broke. Because I deserve it. Because I got a job. And I'm living paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> and I'm tired. So pay my car note. God damn. Mm. Shit. I'm trying my best. I need you to add. This is essentially is what you're saying. I need you to add on. Just, what you just... say? If y'all ain't going to change, give me some fucking change. Well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this quote is sponsored to you by the Gemini Scorpio podcast. The views of Sade. <laughs> um. <yeah. laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, hey, um, T I R Jeezy, T I or Jeezy, before we, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say yeah, we getting on that. Um, T I and Jeezy, who you think wins? Y'all niggas is just niggas just just gonna skip over and no, we're not gonna skip no, over. We're gonna, we're gonna end, end on that. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so T I and Jeezy, who y'all got? I got. Mm-hmm. It's not easy, but I got Jeezy. Twenty. Oh, yeah, I got, got bars top twenty. Top twenty. Top twenty. I got T.I. What you got? What you got? I yeah. got T.I. Um, Top 20? I got G. But <laughs> if, if I had to, just be honest, though. Um, Jeezy. No, nah, like, if, if it came to, like, a personal game, like, I would say Jeezy. But when it comes to your hits and Features. all the bullshit and blitz and grams, I'm like T.I. Because he, I think he got more hits. But when it comes to, like, that shit that make me feel good. Jeezy. Maybe, maybe, that's, <laughs> what I'm gonna say, maybe that's what I'm going Jeezy. over. Well, so, no, T.I. don't, first of all. Okay, the the hits is there though. Ti got hits, but like, but they both do. But like, like he said, like I feel the same way. Like we picking a twenty twenty battle. I'm gonna have to go with Ti. However, overall, my picking of my artist over is gonna be Jeezy, a hundred percent. And no offense, I seen Jeezy in concert too. Shit was one of the littest concerts I've seen. Like that I so Jeezy, Jeezy, like Jeezy do definitely got hits. So especially like that motivation. However. You know, yo, hey, 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 the Turn it on, bro. Oh, turn it up. I was saying, turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. You got to make sure you're connected. You're going to audible. No, no, no. Somebody called me. I was going to call me back just because we could. I was going to ask. Who did? There we go. I was saying, he had called me, so I was saying, what's up? Just because we could, I'm going to ask him who he thinks he's going to be. Curious. Because it's three of us. Okay. Don't pee while we do this. So you always got to pee. Stop peeing. I've been drinking whiskey. Now I ain't answering. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Why why do people do that? What? What? 
Like if you call me, no, nah, because I know answer. that was my. Why you let what? us? Answer? Like, 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 oh that my was, god, we're the worst. I feel like people be looking like that was my fault because I called him twice. He answered, I ain't say hello because I was saying trying to. Oh, the, 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 the damn speaker uh, but anyway but it was my but fault yeah. But yeah. I got T.I. in the 2020 battle however overall it's not a disease that's yeah I got it it's yeah. interesting that yeah so it's coming so I'm excited busted, for that too but except that he was so I think that was smart like why would he go against Sing Busta I want a really good show to me that wouldn't have been a good show for me either the 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 metrics of music to me is on two different spectrums realms. yeah like like it's two different sounds. I hate battles like that. I've been saying that. I don't like one. Don't match up a battle that's on two different spectrums. I feel like you know who Busta would do good with Luda. Just for the animation. But Luda already went with the, the animation and the type of songs they had. I feel like fits in that same. Didn't Luda plane. already go with Nelly? Who was yeah. Nelly? Oh, Busta, I missed that. Busta Rhymes and Missy Elliott, the first co-ed versus. Mm. That's type lit. I I'm still waiting it. for Jermaine Dupri and, Pete and Diddy. Where we at, bro? All right, man. Come on, man. Same. Hey, Alex, you had some things. You So, with this, you definitely want to touch on because you were. Yeah. Where are you is, from, Alex? I'm from Haiti, but this is just. Are you uh, Haitian? I, this whole time, I never knew that. Really? I swear to God, I thought you were. I don't know. I thought you were no, Nigerian, yeah. bro. I thought you were a scammer. No. Wow. Yo, we're going to delete that. We can't even, we can't no, even no, go no, into no, the topic. No, 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 no. Come on. We're not going to act like they was in the kings no, of the shit. It's lit. But you got to read somebody... the room. <laughs> you about to go into insar. All right, cut. <laughs> and you just say, I thought you was a scammer because you was at. No. So I seen, I seen, I seen, I seen, I seen a Nigerian himself say, bro, if all the scammers don't rise up and. Root for okay, stars after getting taught by us, y'all ways. But that's ignorant the, too, though. But fuck man. it, we can be ignorant sometimes. It's okay. Man, shout out to the growth because Jay is not the one that be I, pushing I the like, envelope. I feel so. like it was no shade. Those my niggas. It's like cool. I'm trying to get ignorant. half off on a shoe right now. We can be Do ignorant. Oh my god. <laughs> we can be. Ignorant. We can be ignorant sometimes. It's okay. I need somebody to swipe for me right now. Them my niggas like. Half me off. We are. Man. They're scammers from. You I know. need YSL shoes for my birthday. Half me off. One of y'all, please. All right, let's get into it for real. <laughs> All your side. All your side. We gonna keep that. We not say, cutting nothing. No, um, I'm sorry, y'all. Not, we not, definitely not, gonna. No, 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 no. Let's let's talk about this in a serious note, though. Um, no, that ass. All I could say is, in SARS because like what's going on that I can see is fucked up. But Alex, you was you was giving me another like just more detail of why. It was fucked up because I didn't understand what was going on. And you had gave me an example of something that was going on in Baltimore. I remember, but I just didn't remember the name. And I'm like, yeah, so I So the biggest thing for me kind of like, I mean, for people that don't know what's going on in Nigeria, there's been protests against police brutality yeah. because Nigeria has this special unit that yeah. they had created, uh, essentially called the Special Anti-Robbery Squad. And the purpose of the squad was there was like high crime and Robberies. robberies that are going on mm -hmm. throughout the country of Nigeria. And this unit was created to dissolve that and yeah. like to be the solution. But they became the very problem that they were trying to fix. Right. You know, like instead of stopping the robbery, they started right. robbing people. Mm -hmm. And something that I've been seeing and doing research, like they were profiling people for looking wealthy. You know, wow. so like a lot. And more importantly, the people that are getting targeted are youth. the youth, the millennials, mm -hmm. because they have their phones, yeah. you know. So if you have an iPhone, like there was this one particular case where this guy was like, I went to jail twice this year. Yeah. It's only because I had an iPhone. Wow. So they came up to me and and it's funny. The reason why I said it was interesting, like when you said the scammers thing, yeah. is because they attribute these goods, having this type of lifestyle lifestyle to being a scammer. Yeah. So it's kind of like yeah. interesting. Wait, what? They yeah. attribute you having like an Which is iPhone essentially or having yeah like so they're, they're the only way that you can same. get this type it's of thing a is to be a scammer or you doing something yeah. like that because it does happen in the country right so it is a real reality yeah. but it's like interesting and why I brought up the Baltimore yeah. thing is because the, in Baltimore there was a gun trace task force right. where it was like a special unit yeah. and they're hearing all these the great stories. things and oh they're getting their conviction rate is like 96% yeah, but that's because come to find out they're planting guns mm. they're are robbing people. They're they manipulating are, the situations yeah. to have it's these. They're literally, they're they're robbing right. drug dealers and selling them back. Right. So it's just interesting to see, for one, police brutality on a different level. Because yeah. often in America, we talk about white, white. racism and yep. stuff like that. So we talk about how that systematically is why we is see it. Culture. But what happens when it's in that? Yep. You know, when you they look the person that right. is oppressing you looks just like you. Exactly. And I think that's an and that's when I go into the conversation of what I was saying earlier, and I'm like, I don't think it's 
And I've been saying this, right? I'm not saying that racism doesn't exist, but I don't mm -hmm. think it's the biggest evil in the world. Right. I think the biggest evil in the world is classism mm -hmm. because yeah. they separate us intentionally yeah. just so we can want yeah. to have more. And then they, yeah. it makes us feel like we have to do yeah. illegal things to get more yeah. or attain more and to yeah. be treated fairly, right? Yeah. So I think that this is just a, a, a reality of that, that yeah. even it can be the same color and you still get mistreated. Yeah. Um, because even like when I was working with kids or whatever, I'm dealing with like a, a lower end white kid right. and I'm like, yo, this like guy's us. me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like, this is me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up because yeah. racism d does exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think the biggest ism is yeah. classism. And you know, I've seen like plenty of times where people say like, bro, they don't care about their poor white people either. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? When it boils down to it, even in America, like they don't give a fuck about what we would call trailer trash. Like they don't care. They treat them how they would treat us. And, like, that and that's just real. Interesting. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and like you said, so I do agree heavily. Like it's really classism. And you know, you know, I watched a lot of the clips um, through this time, and it is sad. It is. Mm. It's like, yeah, like, it's it's definitely like, you know, I had to pray about it, you know, and I always, you know, it's a lot that we wish we could do as humans, like, that we just can't do. But you, I always try to do what I can. Like, I always sign the petitions. I always try to donate because at the end of the day, like, we had, like, what's the saying? Injustice anywhere mm. is a threat to justice everywhere right. you get what i'm saying and i think that the same way they were marching for us when we were dealing with all these different scenarios right, right. here you know we all have to put on that shield of armor for them and do the same thing that's why you still got to spread the information and all this because that's why so many people know about it about it now at first it was getting covered with a blanket for a while like you know what i mean no different than it's done here and it's just sad that even country to country you know people always make jokes like oh if it go down here i'm leaving the country and then you realize it's really going on everywhere everywhere, everywhere. when i seen a slide of going through country to country of what every country there was, was like dealing with cobalt and like it, mining at, children bro, sex trafficking it's, it's, like it's, the, it's this a range of, of yep. things country to country but what it really boils down to is classism it really does it's not the race anymore because even in i think it's uh is it a, I forgot which territory, but it's not African-American. They're killing women like slaughtered dogs every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? So right now their color is purple to recognize the women. I'm sorry that I forgot which one, because it's so, that's how bad it is. It's so many different countries battling so many things. Mm. I was looking at all of them, but they're killing, they're doing it to their own people too. Like it, black, white, brown, blue, like it don't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just a sad thing. And that's why I said that, like, yo, what happened to the humanity around the world? Like, you know, who's advoca advocating for the humans as a whole right now? Like, because there has to be some discipline and force has to deal with people who are just disruptive to the human life here. Yeah. Like, And that's the thing, because so many of us, and when I say us, I mean humans in this, in this um, aspect of it. So many of us have <clears throat> trailed in our own aspects of it, right? And I and I say that the same. You say who is advocating for the humans? Nobody, because we are advocating for ourselves, in a in a sense, right? So you have women advocating for protect the protection of women, right? And then you, the protection of black women, especially, right? And then like, but we have to fight. It's kind of like they 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 set us up to fight separately. Because in the African American culture, we had racism, we had to fight for segregation, we had to fight for um injustice and mm -hmm. inequality for African Americans. We couldn't fight for the human race because we're going through this. Then when um, the Holocaust, the when the Holocaust happened, they had to fight for themselves because they they was getting mistreated. Then we had to fight to have women to vote. Then we had to fight for Black women powers. You know what I'm saying? So it's never just we can never have a fight of because you're looking so many things exactly. Yeah. We can yeah. never have a fight of human race because it's it's so it's much fucked everywhere. up shit that's going on. Yeah. In, in between it, yeah. if, that, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's like it's it's crazy because like I yeah. wish we could be fighting for yeah. human race, right? You yeah. know what's interesting, kind of though, like just to tie it all in, like the whole conversation that we talked about today, because I to go back into like competition, not to bring it into this, right? Because in in addition to classism, we talked about like capitalism to a degree, like yeah. the idea of the have and the have nots. Mm -hmm. So something that I just was asking myself while we were talking about this is, why do we feel like as a human race for me to be, for me to have someone has to be lesser than, you know what I mean? Because I feel like that's often where we, because we were talking about the warehouse video, Jay, right? Like in Nigeria where there's people for months because of COVID don't really yeah. have nothing to eat. 
Meanwhile, yeah. there's a surplus. They find a warehouse where yeah. there's like a surplus of food yeah. that is just there. Um, and that kind of triggered me because it was yeah. just like, yeah. that's at what moment do you get but, into greed? And right, it's just but like, even even like I think they did a list of like the trillionaires of the world. They all can give everybody on this world like a million dollars, and we still have mad money left over. It's just it's greed. Like you know what I mean? It is what it is. Like you and know, that, and that goes into the um. I was watching this this. I wish I could have this conversation, but I'm just not there yet. But I was watching the, um something on Hot 97, and um Ebro was saying, you know, when it comes to the voting process, and it's like a lot of people with money voting for Trump because of a tax. It maintains yeah. their it ma- stature. It, it maintains yeah. their stature, but it's like, bro, that little bit of taxes that you're going to pay ain't going to hurt you. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And it's the, funny yeah. that you said that, right? Yeah. Because just to, not to cut you off, I'm sorry, but somebody had commented on Biden's tra- tax plan, right? And the disconnect is so broad that Somebody commented and they said that's going to affect eighty two percent of Americans. And I sat there and I was like, "Is it is affects and is is affect it affects the people that makes over four hundred thousand dollars exactly?" Right. And like, I was like, "The disconnect is that you really think that eighty two percent of Americans make over four hundred thousand dollars." Wow! Like you're not really seeing what's wow. going on in this world. Yeah. Because there's no way if we were in that situation, there famine, all of these yeah. things that's going on, eighty two percent. And it's like all you got to do is give up a little just to help every a lot right. you know what i'm saying it's like right. you're giving up a little bit to help a lot a point i seen like um that i thought was interesting just you know about if they were to give a little how people are not structured enough to even do something like that. Mm. Like, you know, just certain communities and areas. And unfortunately because we just were a lot of us were mistaught so many things or not taught financial wow. literacy, we wouldn't do shit with the money anyway. It'd That's be go back into designer, it'd go back into uh, bullshit, it'd go back into drugs, it'd go back into all these things, and guess what? Wow. We're back in the same situation. Right, and it's crazy because what happens well, is like even with those that small percentage, I'm pretty sure, it's, I know it's not 82%, well, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's not. No, it's absolutely the, not. the small percentage of people that do make over $400,000, right? It's crazy because they they don't mind giving back. They just want to be able to give back on their own terms. Yeah. They don't want it. it, yeah. it they don't want it to be uh, right. necessary. mandated, mandated yeah. right? Yeah. Because uh-huh. once it's mandated, then it shows. Because I'm not yeah. gonna lie, I, at my job, I was talking to a Trump supporter, right? He helped me out. He gave, he, he he helped me get some money. But he was saying, you know, when it comes to this money, I keep it because at the end of the day, I can give back, or I can just say I give back. Because what happens is every year they do a, a, a big yacht party, bring like eighty of their friends, and they write that off as a um community service. Mm. You get what I'm saying, but now when when it's mandated, it has to it comes out automatically. Right. Now I can't do that because I just lost the money that I would do that with yeah. to for to help somebody for real. You get what I'm saying? It's just fucked up that that's just the world we in. But then it? also, I feel like it's interesting in that capacity because in when you like you said that I I'm giving it to my friends. I'm bringing eighty friends, whereas I know where my money's going to. You know what I'm saying? Whereas opposed to if I just this taxes, it. first of all, I don't even know where that's going. Right. And it right. could be going to your pocket. It could be going. So yeah. it's kind of. Yeah. And, and it's yeah. crazy because I yeah. can understand, too, because it's like, yo, in a sense, it's like. we That that means you have to trust the government yeah. at that point, because like. Yeah. Nobody trust, I think that's what it really boils trust down them. to. So, and nobody so trusts like, them. But that's a conversation for another time, man. Um, Episode 44 was a hell of a. Uh, NSARS. NSARS. Jim Holloway podcast. Competition with Hilla Bay. And Jay Hill, sorry, guys, ain't no competition. That's know, the thing. That's I it win. right there. Ain't no competition. Ain't no competition. I, I did that on purpose. I, I win. win. <laughs> nah, man. I Gemini. win, you lose. Ha, 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 Say. Shout out. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 44. Um, yeah. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah.